Good day. I am James Angelo Silipiao, and today I am going to present the shift register that I have chosen for this laboratory experiment. The shift register that I have chosen to investigate is a parallel in serial out shift register. The parallel in serial out shift register is a type of shift register which allows parallel input and produces serial output. Moreover, this shift register stores data, shifts it on a clock-by-clock -clock basis, and delays it by the number of stages times the clock period. In addition, in this type of register, the parallel data is loaded into the register simultaneously and is shifted out the register serially one bit at a time under clock control. For this type of shift register, a DIT type flip-flop was used to store data and or selectors or gates were used as a multiplexer which was used to determine whether the data will load in parallel or shift stored to the right. The block diagram of 4-bit parallel in serial out shift register will be shown in the following figure. This circuit consists of four leaf flip-flops which are cascaded. That means output of one leaf flip-flop is connected as the input of the next flip-flop. All these flip-flops are synchronous with each other since the same clock signal is applied to each one. In this shift register, we can apply the parallel inputs to each D flip-flop by making the serial input to 1. For every positive edge triggering of clock signal, the data shifts from one stage to the next. So we will get the serial output from the rightmost D flip-flop. For this activity, I have also created a circuit diagram for parallel in serial out shift register with BCD counter with logic analyzer with both BCD counter and logic analyzer. Before we get into the sample outcomes, let us first discuss the truth table of a parallel in serial out shift register. Presented in the screen is a truth table of parallel in serial out shift register when the serial input is loaded or is zero. When parallel in serial out shift register is loaded, we can see that whatever the value of the input bits are, will also be the value of the outputs regardless of the clock pulse unless the input bits are changed. Let us see the working of 4-bit parallel in serial out shift register by applying the binary information 1, 0, 1, 0 in parallel through binary inputs. Since the binary inputs are applied before the positive edge of clock, the initial status of the D flip-flops from leftmost to rightmost will be the same as the binary inputs. In addition, whatever the value of the output at the rightmost flip-flop will also be the value reflected in the serial output. On the other hand, when the serial input is shifted or is 1, we can see that the binary inputs are shifted to the right until such that the binary input 0 is reflected as the serial output which was received at the third positive edge of clock. In this screen 
the secure table of parallel in serial out shift register when the serial input is loaded and or when it is shifted. To demonstrate sample outputs, we are going to use the parallel in serial out shift register circuit diagram with logic analyzer so that we can also observe the waveforms of the binary inputs and outputs. Now, we are going to simulate sample outputs of parallel in serial out shift register using this simulated circuit diagram and with logic analyzer. We can observe at channel 0 the waveform of the clock pulse. At channel 1, the serial input or the shift load input. At channel 2, the binary input 0. At channel 3, the binary input 1. At channel 4, the binary input 2. At channel 5, the binary input 3. At channel 6, the flip-flop output 0. At channel 7, the flip-flop output 1. At channel 8, the flip-flop output 2. And for channel 9, the serial output waveform. Now, let us run the simulation for the shift register when the serial input is loaded. We can see that the binary inputs 0, 1, 2, and 3 all have the same value of 0, which can then be seen at the outputs of their corresponding flip-flops. Now suppose we change one binary input Let's say, for example, the binary input 0, we change its state to 1. We can see that the value is reflected to the first flip-flop or flip-flop 0. Another example, let's suppose that we change the value for binary input 2. Observe that the output value for flip-flop 2 also changed its state. Now, let's change the value for the binary input 3. We can see that the output and the, in flip-flop 3 also changed as well as it was reflected as the serial output. With this, we can infer that when parallel in serial out shift registers, shift load input is loaded, whatever the values in the binary inputs will all also be the values in the flip-flop outputs. And whatever the output of the binary input 3 will be reflected as the serial output. We can also notice the changes in the wave patterns of the inputs and outputs in this logic analyzer. Let's say we change the binary input to 0 again. We can see that there is a change in the wave pattern in channel 5 and channel 9 which are connected to binary input 3 and the serial output. Now, let's run sample outcomes of parallel in serial outshift register when its serial input is shifted. Notice that the binary inputs are 0, 0, 1, 0. Let us observe if this binary inputs will also be reflected on the outputs of the flip-flops or it will be shifted when we change 
the state of the serial input. Notice that when we change the value of the serial input, there was a change in the wave patterns of the binary inputs and the outputs. As well as, notice that the binary inputs are no longer loaded parallel but rather are shifted to the right post flip flop until such that the binary input 0 was reflected in the serial output. Now, let's say that we change the, bin the value of the binary input 0 to 1. We can notice that the value of the binary input 1 was shifted to the right and is reflected to the serial output. Now let's say we change the state of the serial input to the loaded state again. Notice the changes in the waveforms as well as the changes in the output of each flip-flops. Now, we can see that the binary inputs are reflected again to the flip-flop outputs and that the value in the binary input 3 was reflected to the serial output. So we change it again, the serial output changes to 1. Say we change the binary input 0 to 0, to zero. notice that the state of the output of flip-flop 0 also changed. Again, let us change the state of the serial input to its shifted mode. Notice that the serial output is now 0 because the binary inputs are shifted to the right. Again, let us change the binary input 0 to 1. Notice how the input is shifted to the right. Now presented in the screen is the waveform pattern of parallel in serial out shift register when the serial input is loaded. Now we can see the waveform pattern that was formed when the serial input of parallel in serial out shift register is shifted. In conclusion, we can then infer that for a 4-bit parallel in serial out shift register, requires three clock pulses in order to produce the valid output. Similarly, the n bit parallel in serial out shift register requires n minus cl one clock pulses in order to shift n bit information. That is all. Good day and thank you.